Hi, welcome. This video is going to be about the Sally Icons. The Sally Icons is a project of mine, and you can find it in erdubois.pe. There is more information here. I'm going to make a series of videos. I've just made uh, the first one, which was showing, just showing Sally Icons and say, okay, is it uh, worth it? Is it uh, what I want? And so on. Then the second video is going to be the installation, how to install the Sally icons. Okay, this is this video. We are going to show you how to install the Sally icons. But uh, video three then is going to be telling you, hey, Sally is much more than these 20 folders. You can have 102 or 110 or 1000 folders of different icons. There are scripts in there. And that's what I call the flexibility. You just don't like the color, change the color. You have a script, choose one of the 16 million colors, done. Fourth uh, video is going to be about modularity, is mixing things together. And you can also mix things from other uh, icon themes. So you're the boss of your system. And last but not least, um, there is already a lot of uh, things you can download. So we have lots of uh, extra Saturday icons, scripts that we ran and we keep aside. And that's 100 or 110, we'll see when we make the video at what count we are. And then last but not least, um, it's, well, the SADI icons are meant to be uh, for every Linux distribution. So over the years, I just um, wrote down what distro I installed and what uh, elements, what, uh, what uh, system, what kind of distro they are. So everything is in here. And the last one, two ones, a uh, week ago, two weeks ago, I did these two last. Uh, so yeah, everything should work. Uh, sometimes there's one icon missing. Okay, please let me know so I can make the icons 100% perfect for your distro of your choice. Okay, how to install? Well, basically, I'm going to first start with the Arch Linux guys because it's, it's quite easy here. Control alt t that's what we do, and we have a terminal. And then we say, we go and look for the SADI icon, SADI icons. And then we type zero, and they're installed. I can't do it here because this, as you can see down here, this is my Arch Merge SADI surfing. So I develop the icons on here. I'm not going to install, that's it. Okay. How about the other distros? How will they do it? Well, we have here, if you Google it, let's see if we Google it, sadly SourceForge. There you have it, sadly download SourceForge.net. Always be sure, as a general notice, uh, nothing to do with sadly, always be sure when you're on SourceForge that this version that you download, which is 9.6.0, is the same one as this one in the files. Sometimes differs, just so you know. So this is the last version, two hours ago. And we uh, see that I've cleaned out a little bit. So 0 0.3 megabyte has been cleaned out, uh, which I call the spring clean, you know. And the Ghost Norton, I mean, not Norton, Saturday, uh, Ghost Flexible has been uh, cleaned out as well to be able to work on all the Arch distros. That was an issue on the Arch distros, not on the other ones. So here it is. So what do you do? You download the version. You wait, if there's problems in downloading, uh, can we click here? Yeah, so here it is. Um, if you want to download faster, there are lots of servers, um, servers where you can download and it goes faster. So I'm gonna check what I did. So right mouse click on any distribution you normally have right mouse click or double click and then extract or something. So here it is, extract here. Double click it and all you need is these folders and then you copy them. I can't do that really because as you know, this is my development SSD and you put them in the dot icon. So in your home folder, there should be a control H, there should be a dot icons. And if it's not, you just make a new icon, create a new folder. I mean with dot, so a point icons, small letters and put it in there, copy paste. And then it's up to you what um, system you're on. If you're on XFCE, Cinnamon, 
Openbox, i3, uh, Mate, what else, Budgie, anything really, go look for your favorite way, GNOME, don't forget, KDE, just check it out how on your system you get your icons there. And that's it. That's how you install um, your um, your system. And maybe, maybe there, I believe there is something um, on here on SourceForge about get updates. I think that's the button. Yeah. So if you want to see what happens, what when I when I update something, then you get an email. So that's uh, works like that. All right. So this is the video about installation. Can't think anything else to tell you. So download from SourceForge, extract, put it in dot icons, done. Select. Cheers.